Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we've got a complete surprise. We've had a world promo been dropped on us out of nowhere by the lovely folks over at Pokemon TCG UK. Let's have a chat about this, shall we? And what we've got here, and I adore this, it's Pikachu fighting Mew, okay? It's Pikachu having a bit of a fight with Mew, which, I'll be honest with you, Mew was so last year. For anyone that doesn't get the reference, Mew v Max won the World Championships in Masters last year. The Mew v Max deck, and this year Mew is... I mean, look, there's the Mew from 151, which is a playable card, to be fair. And will be popping up in a bunch of decks at Worlds, but it's not like last year when Mew v Max literally won the World Championships. But I digress. They're having a little bit of a fight in an arena... But look behind the arena. Where are they, ladies and gentlemen? Where are they having their little scrap? They are blatantly in Honolulu. You've got the Hawaiian coastline there, but with the buildings all kind of popping up as well. This is blatantly Honolulu, and I love this. Not only do we actually have a cool promo card to celebrate the World Championships coming around, but it's also actually drawn... By Atsushi Furusawa, who has nailed it, incidentally. But they've done this in Honolulu, which is amazing. That is a wonderful, wonderful touch. Don't worry, I'm going to say how to get it and all of that. Now, as for the actual card and what it does, the card's rubbish as an actual playable card. Free energy, 30 damage, flip a coin till you get tails, it does 30 more damage for each heads. Technically, you could flip infinite heads and do infinite damage. The reality is, no, it's it's not a particularly good or playable card. It's not supposed to be, and actually, it's actually kind of important. I said actually too many times then. It's pretty important that this is not a good card because it is a promo card which is going to be available for a limited time. We have other better 70 HP Pokemon running around. Oh, speaking of which, if you want to have a little bit of a chat about, I don't know, 70 HP Pikachu, for instance, with this exact same attack, how about the one from last year? How about the world's promo from last year, which wasn't a world's promo for us? We didn't get this as a world's promo. We just got it as a random league promo, which was super confusing because... In some places, it legit was a world's promo. In Indonesia, world's promo. Hong Kong and Taiwan, world's promo. Thailand, world's promo. Weirdly not in Japan. But then Japan did get another world's promo in the Yokohama deck, which was Pikachu with Koridon and Maridon doing its thing. Yeah. So there's several reasons why this Pikachu is better than last year's Pikachu. One of which is the fact that it's blatantly in Honolulu. Last year's was, I mean, stunning artwork, don't get me wrong. Could have been anywhere. Maybe that's in Yokohama? But I, I don't really see it myself personally. And, and I've been to Yokohama. Obviously, I went to Worlds last year. And also, I mean, look, it's got a world stamp on it. And last year, there was a version with the world stamp, but we didn't get it, and that made me sad. This year, we get the version with the world stamp, and it is awesome. I adore this. Now, this does also... You know, it's a bunch of world promos. Don't worry, I'm going through them all. We do need to contrast this with the world promo that was shown off... Actually, it was shown off while I was at North American Internationals. It was it was weird. I was waiting to go on and do a couple of finals with Joe. And then at the end of the Pokemon Go final, they went and showed this. But this is the actual world promo. As in, this is the one that is going to be in the competitor kit. And is going to be available in all the different languages. Whereas this new one is a world promo. It's got the world stamp on it and everything, but it's not the world promo. It's not the promo that the staff are going to get with a staff stamp. It's not the world's promo that competitors are going to get in all the different languages in their competitor pack. It is going to be 
far more widely available. Well, more widely available is good. How widely available? Well, the good news is that Pokemon have gone and given us a bunch of information about that as well. Because they're very, very nice like that. Here's what it says over on the official website. Get a World's 2024 Celebratory Pikachu promo card. There are several ways to add this special promo card featuring Pikachu to your Pokemon TCG collection. It's that time of year. The 2024 Pokemon World Championships is approaching and there's a ton of fun to be had as trainers battle it out for the illustrious title of World Champion. To celebrate the spirit of competition, you can get a special Pikachu promo card featuring an intense battle between Pikachu and Mew, a Honolulu-inspired backdrop, told you, and the World Championship stamp. You don't want to miss your chance to pick up this cool artwork. This Pikachu promo card will be available as a gift with purchase at select local and online retail locations where Pokemon TCG products are sold, including the Pokemon Center, from the 2nd of August to the 18th of August, while supplies last. Additionally, you can get into the action yourself and receive this celebratory promo card as a participation prize by visiting a world celebration at your local Pokemon League from August the 12th to August the 18th. And then to find a league near you, go to the event locator. Now, immediately some people are going to start thinking the worst here and their prediction is going to be, oh, it's going to be impossible to get hold of. Maybe. Like, I don't know. I don't have the numbers in front of me here, but... Look, we all know what happened with Van Gogh Pikachu. We all know that that went up onto the Pokemon Center with, to put it politely, insufficient supply. It went a little bit wrong, although I'm going to give Pokemon a lot of credit here because they did go out of their way to actually make this available several more times. But there's been a bunch of others that have gone up on the Pokemon Center that this has not happened. There have been promos since then where Pokemon have basically gone out of their way and gone, this is not running out. We are making this available. That the Poker Post promos, for instance, I showed you the other day, actually went up onto the Pokemon Center as well. And yeah, they, they were fine. They were also available for a while. Other ones have gone up recently and not been super difficult to find. So I'm just going to give Pokemon the benefit of the doubt here because I do think they've earned it and just say I don't think this is going to be ridiculous because it's online and in-person stores and Pokemon League. That seems like a lot, frankly. That seems like a lot. This is awesome. It's another promo which is completely and utterly unnecessary. We don't need this. There is no reason for this to exist. And yet it does. And I think that is wonderful. Also, I mentioned last year's Pikachu and Charizard. So I need to make the obligatory reference here to the illustration competition winning Charizard drawn by Susumo here, who is the same artist who did the Pikachu. And that is basically the other side of that battle. The Pikachu versus Charizard battle. But that one was essentially, well, we assume it was anyway. But that one was only available in Japan. And it was a, it was a whole thing. But it was cool that it happened. And look, this is two years in a row now. Last year, we got the Pikachu and Charizard. This year, we get the Pikachu and Mew. This cannot be a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. It's happening more and more. But actually, while we're here, Pokemon did yesterday show off a bunch of the products which are going to be available at the Pokemon Center at Worlds. And I think they're worth getting excited about. I think they are amongst the coolest products we've had for Worlds. I'm going to Worlds this year. I have a slot for the first Pokemon Center slot. I actually have a 1 p.m. on Wednesday slot. Shout out to Joe. Joe did all the work. Thank you, Joe. Joe's probably not watching this video. If you are watching the video, Joe, send me a message to let me know. I'm guessing you're not. But I thanked you in public anyway because you helped me get a slot at the Pokemon Center. And I appreciate it. There are a bunch of cool things coming out, including an actual ukulele. Possibly the best... No. The best world's bag we've ever had. And look, these bags, I use these bags. If you see me at events, I love Pokemon rucksacks. They are the actual goated rucksacks. They are the best design of rucksack. The only downside is... 
that they've got terrible side pockets that won't fit my bottle of water and it's annoying and if you have a look at this new design it's exactly the same it looks to be except they've got an added proper pockets love it absolutely love it huge fan i might have to see if i can get two of these bags one to use and one to use when it breaks because i love this bag ladies and gentlemen absolutely love it but we have some images of some tcg stuff that come from the folks at ign we've actually got a look at the dice counter set which i pick up from every event because i'm a massive tcg nerd but again i think this might be the coolest we've seen i adore the design here we've also had a little bit of a look at the sleeves which are cool but i'll probably never use them but they're still nice i like that we're getting sleeves and we got a lovely little bit of a look at the deck box as well which is lovely oh and the play mat we're tcg nerds here right we need to talk about the play mat the play mat is bootyful but we talked about all this now, ladies and gentlemen, and I've shown you this new card. So now I need to edit this video and get it online so you can see it all. So tell me what you think about this new promo. Tell me how excited you are. Tell me what you think about the world's merch. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. Oh, and get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Chelsea Rose, who's been a supporter for a while now and seems to be a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.